Tuesday, December 20th, a reading from Galatians chapter 5, Life by the Spirit. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge in the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love, for the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out, or you will be destroyed by each other. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh des desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity, and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambitions, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. For Reflection who is looking out for me? The confirmation class was discussing the concept of serving one another in the context of the Christian community. The group of 14-year-olds first centered on the struggle of watching out for their own needs versus the needs of others. They ultimately came to the conclusion that if everyone in the community took the best interests of the others to heart, then they do not have to focus so much on their own needs. In a way, it was a belief that to serve another person was to serve everyone, including themselves. Pretty heady stuff for a class of eighth graders. In the passage from Galatians, Paul talks about freedom, and with this freedom comes choices. We can pursue our own wants and desires to the neglect or even detriment of others, a decision which will pull us away from God and those around us. We could also choose to serve each other humbly in love and therefore fulfill the commandment of love your neighbor as yourself. The confirmation class recognized the benefits of serving each other, but did not come to any specific examples of how to do it. In what ways can you humbly serve others? And who would those others be? <music>